Hey guys, Action Movie Dad here, and uh, I know I haven't posted anything in a while, and that's because we've been crazy busy over here. Uh, but today on Twitter, I was reminded by Bugbear TV. Uh, any chance we could see something soon? And uh, I do actually have a little tip that I've just learned that I will share with you guys. Uh, Bugbear TV, by the way, you can see their Twitter feed right here. And uh, you can also find them on YouTube and stuff. Subscribe, whatever, all that good stuff. Anywho, uh, if you guys ever find yourself working with footage where there are little tracking markers on the ground or something like that, uh, they can be a real pain. So I got this piece of footage, it's got some tape on the ground, and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time like making a texture and reprojecting it and all that stuff. So here's a quick tip that sometimes works. Uh, I did establish a ground plane when I did my camera track, so I've got this nice uh, little square that's the ground plane. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to rotate it around, make it much bigger. There are some lights in this set, you can just ignore those. But uh, yeah, make it big enough to cover up those two spots where there were uh, little tape marks on the ground. And now I can draw some little masks right on it. And they're in 3D, which is great. Feather that out a teeny bit. And then I'll just duplicate this mask. And put one right on top of that other piece of tape. And now as I go through, I've got a little marker on each of the pieces of tape. So now what I can do is I can use this to punch out holes from the original footage. So I'll use it as a track mat, uh, alpha inverted mat. Punches two holes in my footage right there. So what good does that do me? Watch if I duplicate this original piece of footage, put it under everything, I'll disable its uh, track mat properties, and voila, I can just drag this piece of footage under it, around, and if I move the tape in that footage just slightly out of the way like this, you'll notice that I seem to preserve some of that, it's like clone stamping but in 3D. You get some of the ground from over here and some of the ground from over there. And when you play through, since they're in relatively similar positions, you don't get a whole a lot of uh, distracting stuff, which is pretty great. So a really quick way to remove tape from the ground. Just came across this uh, when I was working on uh, one of my new videos real quick, so I just, oh. But anyway, hope that that can be of help to you guys sometime. And this has been a quick tip from Action Movie Dad.